Embori oral tradition has Puakai, a giant bird that hunted humans. Then scientists found Host's eagle fossils, massive eagles that could actually take down adult humans. Turns out the monster bird stories were based on real extinct predators. Host's eagles went extinct around 1400s when Moa, their main prey, disappeared. But Embori oral history preserved stories about giant birds attacking people. Those stories lined up with the fossil evidence centuries later. Pauakai was described with huge wingspan, sharp talons, powerful enough to carry off adults. That machos hosts, eagle anatomy minus 10-foot wingspan, talons like tiger claws, hunting strategy of striking from above. This is oral tradition as historical record. Ambori ancestors encountered these eagles, remembered them as dangerous predators, passed down accurate descriptions through generations even after the birds went extinct. The stories were unto to exaggeration or mythology. There was survival information about genuine apex, apex predators that existed in New Zealand until relatively recently in human timescales. Western science initially dismissed the human hunting stories as folklore. Then they dug up the eagles and realized Mbori tradition had been documenting real megafauna the whole time. This validates oral tradition as legitimate historical source. When indigenous people say their ancestors dealt with giant predatory birds, maybe don't assume it's fantasy until you've checked the fossil record. Want more cases where oral tradition got vindicated by science? Because indigenous knowledge preservation is often more accurate than colonizers wanted to admit.